Hey everyone, this is Isaac, and welcome back to Isaac Reviews 2024. It's Valentine's Day today, and of course, I'm completely alone. But I do at least have a review to fit the occasion, seeing as how it's a rom-com, and that review is for Lisa Frankenstein. Usually, I'm not that big a fan of rom-coms. The only exceptions are if they're animated or if they throw in a subgenre to spice things up. And in the case of Lisa Frankenstein, it's a supernatural horror movie coming from the late Robin Williams' daughter. All that is certainly intriguing, but was the movie itself any good? I'd say it was. It's the story of Lisa Swallows, who's going into her senior year at a new school following her mother's death. But one night, a dead guy buried in an abandoned cemetery she sometimes goes to gets brought back to life after lightning strikes his grave. So Lisa has to keep his existence a secret to the people she knows, all while deciding how much she wants to help him and at what cost. Now, Lisa Frankenstein is a very weird movie. It frequently jumps between several different tones, where one minute it's a horror film, then it's a campy rom-com, and then it's a full-on slasher. And in my opinion, this is one of the highlights of the movie. For one, it knows it's ridiculous, and it has as much fun with that as it can, and this especially applies to Lisa and the creature. Catherine Newton's performance is fantastic, and her dynamic with the creature is really fun, even if he doesn't talk for most of the movie. I also gotta hand it to the makeup department who did an excellent job with said character's look. I know that's usually something I don't tend to bring up in my reviews, so I guess that's how you know they put some real effort into their craft. But somewhat related to that, I also think the production design and costume design were really good. But going back to the writing, although I do like the tone this movie had going for it, sometimes I feel like it could be a bit too crazy for my liking. Now, I will admit, it's a well-paced movie, plus the runtime isn't too long with it being just under 100 minutes. But sometimes, the changes in tone felt a bit jarring, some of the decisions the characters made were pretty dumb, and the dialogue in a few scenes was kinda off. I unfortunately don't have much else to say here, but I do want to say this. I was pleasantly surprised with Lisa Frankenstein. Despite the underwhelming critical reception, I had a lot of fun with this movie. It's not perfect, and sometimes the story structure felt unfocused, but the lead actress was great, the romance was entertaining, the sets, costumes, and prosthetics were extremely well designed, and it had some nice callbacks to past horror movies while also standing out as its own film. There's no harm in checking it out either theatrically or when it comes out on streaming in two weeks, especially if you're a fan of horror movies. It's nothing all that noteworthy to be sure, but for what it's worth, at least I had a decent time watching it, so I'll be giving Lisa Frankenstein a 7 out of 10. Next time, I'll be talking about, uh, Madam Web. Sony did jack shit to market this movie, and I can sorta understand why they'd be so hopeless with it, because it looks really bad. And judging by the reviews it's getting, I can tell I'm gonna be in for an absolute train wreck. In the meantime, thanks for watching this episode of Isaac Reviews 2024. If you wanna see more content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. See you all next time!